Hey, welcome back, Ponzi coders. We're now on section five of uh, of this app, and in this section, I I want to create uh, an autocomplete list. Um, they're also uh, what are they called? Uh, an autocomplete text view. Let's go ahead and put that auto. Complete text view, um, and you've everybody's used these before. So in our app, when you're putting in a symbol, when you put in G, you know a little widget pops down here, and it says you know Google and. G E and that's not in alphabetical order, but that's not important. Anyway, that you can scroll through, and if you want to, you can pick one of these, and then it will fill in the appropriate information um, up here. So this is going to be done in a series of videos. Um, we are first going to go over in this video um, all the the elements uh, that you need. So we're going to alter our main dot uh, XML file and we're going to create one of these ACTs the autocomplete text views uh, I don't know why I just did this yet another acronym but it is what it is we're um, then going within uh, this you know what I gotta look is it called autocomplete text view in the main XML, yep, sure is. Um, so in in this uh, UI element, uh, it really talks about you know how big it is, what we're gonna we're gonna do, wrap or fill, and then um, for the actual this part for the actual list, uh, we're gonna create another. XML file called uh, symbol list item. And we'll go over that. And then the third element, um, we're going to mess with the strings uh, XML file, which we haven't played around with this yet. And we're going to put in an array. Um, and that array is going to contain uh, our symbols and companies and when I say symbols stock symbols uh, and this is going to be to the S and P let's put it over here S and P 500 it's actually more than 500 I believe but anyway it's it's gonna be a nice little list and it's gonna help um, if folks don't know uh, what the symbol is for their particular stock so let's get into it and talk about these these three things um, instead of typing them out, um, I'm going to go ahead and I've already typed them out. So what the code that we're adding is this right here. Now, we will eventually, by the end of this, uh, of this section, we're going to take out um, the set symbol te uh, edit text because uh, we don't want both of those in there. But for now, we're just going to leave it in. So here's our autocomplete text view. It's got... Uh, an ID of set symbol auto and we've set the width and height as far as the fill parent and wrap parent um, I've adjusted the, the left margin to have a little bit of space there and then the hint is just uh, type in a symbol just like we had over here for our edit text the next item you're gonna want to you know right click on layout create a new XML file and name it symbol list or symbol underscore list underscore item. In that, we're just putting in a text view. So have it look just like this. And so this defines what each item in our list is going to look like. Um, and I've played around with the text size. I've made the color. Um, I think that's white. Maybe it's black. I don't know. We'll, you'll see when, uh, when it comes out. Uh, and the padding around the item 
uh, as 10 DP. Now I did say we're going to get into the strings XML file and when you first uh, open this file you're just going to see these two uh, elements and what we're adding is this string array and it's got the list of the symbols dash uh, the company name and we're calling it symbol array I have a copy uh, a text file that contains all of this all the 500 um, uh, company names and you can just copy and paste it uh, the link is on the YouTube video um, you just download that file and you can copy and paste it uh, into the strings.xml file. Okay, so with these three elements that we've made those changes, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into main.java and actually combine them together and get them to work. See you in the next video.